Well, 12 million people are considered COVID long haulers. I'm right there with you here. Suffering side effects from the virus months after that initial diagnosis. And now a new study is showing taking probiotics of all things could really help. Our Nohelani Graf asking our ABC 15 Health insiders about this study. So is there any truth to it? So Kaylee, there is some truth to it. Probiotics, we want to be clear, are not a cure-all and certainly not for COVID, which doesn't have a standardized treatment. However, our health insider does say that probiotics have been proven to help prevent illness. So the study was published in a Swedish medicine journal and it followed patients with brain fog and muscle soreness specifically from COVID. After 14 days on probiotics, they did see improvement with both. And our health insider, Dr. Shad Marvasti, says probiotics help with gut health and they do help boost general immunity. So it certainly would not hurt with COVID recovery or even lowering your susceptibility to getting it in the first place. It can only be helpful based on what we already know about probiotics and boosting immunity. Um, there's a number of studies that have shown that kids who take probiotics, especially multiple strains uh, during cold and flu season actually have lower incidence of colds and flus and, and decreased number of school absentee days. So he says any probiotic that you take should include 10 strains of active cultures. You just check the outside of the container for that. Also, Kaylee, you can eat certain foods, fermented foods specifically. Easiest one is yogurt, but also sauerkraut, miso, kimchi, and for our vegans, tempeh. Okay, this is interesting that sauerkraut too would be a real good test of your oh, senses. I love me some kraut. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just recently getting into it. It is good. Okay, thank you so much, Nohe. You're giving me hope here. Ready to smell things entirely, not just oranges. <laughs>